Now let's solve question number 5. Here it states in the question given below, there are four statements which are to be taken as truth even if they do not seem to be so. There are conclusion numbered 1, 2, 3 and 4 and decide which of these logically follow from the given statement. So this is a question related to the statement analysis. You have to read the statement and on basis of that you are provided with four conclusions. You need to check which of these conclusion follows the given statement. So let us firstly read the statement. All students who like English also like mathematics. So diagrammatically you can represent it as all students who like English also like mathematics. And then it states all students who like Hindi do not like mathematics. So those students who like Hindi, they are not liking mathematics. So we will have a different set of students who are liking Hindi, which we can diagrammatically represent in this form. Students who like mathematics also like English, which is quite clear from this figure. Now let's observe the statements which are given as conclusions. So the first conclusion here is student who like Hindi also like English. But here we have different set of students who are liking Hindi. So this is not correct. Then students who like mathematics also like Hindi. This is also not following the given statement. Next it states students who like mathematics do not like Hindi which is quite evident from this statement. So this follows the given statements. Further the fourth conclusion states students who like English do not like Hindi. This also follows the given statement. So this means this is also correct. Now considering these two correct conclusions out of these four options, we need to select the options showing third and fourth as the conclusion which is clearly option number four. So here answer to this question is option number four. So let's move on to our next question. This is the question again related to the missing term. Here the number in place of question mark should be. Here you can observe we have the pattern of the numbers. So here you have to the pattern that will replace this question mark. Ko replace karega. So when you observe this pattern, here we have the numbers 4, 3, 2 and 2 and in the center we have 22. Let's try to decode the pattern here. Square of 4 is 16, square of 3 is 9, then square of 2 is 4 and square of 2 is again 4. So when you add up the square of 4, 3, 2 and 4, you get the sum total as 33. And from that, when you subtract the sum of these numbers 4, 3, 2 and 2, that is 11. So you obtain 33 minus 11 equal to 22, which clearly gives you the number at the circle. And then the same pattern is followed in the second given pattern. And this will be also followed in the third one. So let's try to obtain the missing number here following the same pattern. So you have to take up the square of these four numbers 6, 5, 4 and 3 and from that you need to subtract the sum of these four numbers. So 6 square plus 5 square plus 4 square plus 3 square is equal to here 86 and from that you are subtracting 18. And from 86 when you subtract 18 you obtain the resultant as 68. This means the correct answer for this question is option number 4. So here answer is option number 4. Now let's move on to the next question.